Yo, today I'm gonna show you guys I made this track for Bunny Ups and Flourish Calls Garden Instance Sample Pack Contest. This track is exclusively made from the demo of the Garden Instance Sample Pack. And this is how it sounds like. I'm gonna start off here with the intro. I'm just gonna go over it quickly since it's not the main focus. First thing that we hear is this. This is just one of the bugs from the pack that is played really low. And then I added bit crush reverb, a delay, another reverb, infiltrator to add octaves in the second part. Can you hear right here? In the second part of the intro, we have a respace. This is made from this sample. It is played really low. I only keep the low end, I did a bit of distortion. We have like a layer, which is another one of the plugs. It's this one, played really low, and once again, same processing pretty much. Delay, there is so I need a pitch to move it up in one octave, and I have some reverb to get a sense like this. That's it for the instruments, then we have effects on top, so there is this thing, which is just the lo-fi texture of the pack. This one, cranked up in volume, playing through the entire thing, even during the build-up, I have it rising with a fancy shifter, okay, it's cool, riser effect. Then we have this pad, which is pretty much untouched from the pack. It's this one, pitch down to match the key. I also have this thing, which is going straight from the pack, it's this sample right here, I've just added a bit of delay. The sitting in the background as well. I also have this thing. This thing I, I recorded the full drop, putting it in the build up, which I'm gonna show you a bit later. And this thing is just the first hit of the build up, pitch down one octave, and then I, I did the reverb, which is this cool ambient hit playing in the background. Then we have this. This is just one of the claps from the pack that is being reverbed a lot. It's a cool impact. I also have a copy of this one which I recorded and reversed for each of the transition of the intro. Then I have a symbol as well. It's one of the symbols of the pack, delayed and reverbed a bit. I also have like these ones which are turned down a lot and pitched down. Which create a cool like ambient sound. Together the intro sounds like this. For the transition into the build up, I use this cool trick. The dispatch of process is just two parallel chains. One is going straight out, and one is going to a frequency shifter that is moving when I move this knob. Creates a cool, like, phasory effect that I'm using for the transition. And finally, I have a tape stop at the end, just before the build up. The build up is pretty simple. I just kept most of the background elements from the intro. Right, so I did a sub layer. This one is just one of the subs from the pack with an cut right here. And then I just have most part of the drop recorded that I'm just being reverbed, the reverb slowly goes out right here, and it's also being filtered up slowly during the build up. For the drums, this snare that is go slowly going up in pitch. The kick is going faster and faster, and so I have the clap together the sound like this. And then I just added a bunch of stuff that make it rise. There is more symbols. There is also riser transform pack. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the intro and the build-up. Since the pack didn't have any vocals, I couldn't use anything for the build-up, so I just took stuff from the drop, basically, and... and then we go straight to the drop. I'm gonna show you the main bass first. This thing has two layers, a layer, and then an eternal layer. To get a lesson like this. So these are the bases from the pack. This one is this gun pitched up by an octave, and then I have a bunch of post processing TT, disperser, stereo, reverb. The other one is pretty much simple processing, but I also have a ring mode that's giving it this cool ringing effect with 40 fix so like this. It's one of the leads from the pack with the effects. Then I also have this chord layer. It's playing at the, at the start of most of the section of the drops. This one is pretty much straight from the pack. There is a bit of post processing on it too. Got the existing sub, dispersor, OTT, stereo, and reverb too. And also I have this spectral gate that I'm automating, put it in the background in some of the sections here. It's sitting really high. And then I have this one where the spectral gate is on, which is kind of more in the background. And the last thing for the bases is this sub. This one is straight from the pack too, and it, I just added in OTT to make it a bit louder. Together, this is sound like this. 
The second part of the job automated the tooling mode of the tunnel layer to make it pitch down. Creates variation, and in this part, I even pitched the media of the gun up, that way, it creates even more variation. Next, we have the fields. So, for the fields, I just took a bunch of the samples from the pack, which you can see right here. For the processing on this, I just have OTT, and I have a freeform phase with the most extreme settings just to mess up with the sound. Uh, to mess up with the sound even more, I have this shipper box, which I'm moving the time on this like banjo thing right here. Then, I have another OTT, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty much a bunch of glitches, and then I recorded a bunch of these in Edison, and then I made them right here to fill in the gaps. Just put in a bit more stereo and cut the stereo out of the sub OTT as well. That's it for this field. And then I have this thing. It's the same sample as the fields, but I added in spectral gates that way it creates like this degraded digital kind of sound that I'm putting in the background of the whole group. For the rest of the background elements, we have this thing which is the, the part of the pack that, I'm, that I put on a big crush and still a shaper to make it pump up in volume. This layer, one of the plugs pitched down, I had a bit of reverb. I also have this thing which is playing in the background. Same thing, it's just one of the plugs from the pack. Just playing like this in the background behind the guns. You can hear it a bit. And I also have this thing which is like a textured noise layer. This one is also the super solid that I that I play at a really high note, adding frequency shifter, and I'm also panning it really quick left and right. Creates a cool texture that's sitting under the whole drop. These are all the drums for the drop. So if I go through, the kick is untouched. Uh, the clap, I'll just put an ODT on the clap to make it more compressed and a bit of reverb. And the clap is also pitched down a bit, that way it sounds deeper. And you can also notice that the clap isn't sidechaining the old rub. I just forgot to put the sidechain in the first place, but I thought like it sounded better without it, so I kept it that way. Then we have these things. This is just the little zap from the pack. This one, and there's also a variation where I pitched it down right here. We also have... Little snare frills like this, one of the snares from the pack that I pitched up is the same snares as the build up. And for the cymbals, this one is requested shifted down, this one is untouched, this small one is untouched as well. And at the end, I just have this thing, which is the original clap of the intro that I recorded, and I put it right here to use it as a crash. There's also a bit more variation, I did this layer. And there's also like this phone thingy. This is the result of me trying to make a phone base. It's just, once again, the super solid playing high with a quick arpeggiator. Right here, it's quickly switching between two notes. And then I added a color, a frequency shifter, which I'm automating to make it go down. And if you swift to reduce the high end and a bit of reverb to send it to the background, it's playing this second section of the first part of the drop. There's also a variation on the, on the main background, which is like this. And the second part is lower on playing less frequently. So now on to the second part of the drop. To make this transition, I have this freeze right here. It's just this sample. There is a pitch automation which, which makes it go up and down. I put on more distortion, OTT. I cut down a lot of the mids because it was getting muddy. And I did a bit of stereo and cut the stereo low end. That's what it sounds like. So then for the next part, there is this reverb which is being automated. <laughs> And also frequency shifting the tonal layer of the main bass, make it go up. Here the background stuff is pretty much the same. I just have this thing I added. It's just the full drop, the same recording I used in the build-up. It's playing like really fast little grains, creates like this cool background texture, I guess. One thing that you might have heard here too is that I switched the clap for us now. This thing, you might think that I used a snare from another pack. Actually, this is not what I did, because this snare is made out of only the samples from the pack. Let me show you how I did it. This is the setup that I used to make a bunch of snares. Actually, let me show you all the snares I've made. I might actually make a little sample pack that I'm gonna put in the description. You guys can use these snares if you want. So for this, the first thing I have is a body layer. I just used one of the plugs, depending on the snare, I used a different plug. It's just being distorted a lot, slashed a lot with OGT. Then I have the transient, which is the transient from one of the existing snares. And then I just have the like reverby layer. This thing, which is once again one of the plugs pitched down a lot, the reverb. And yeah, with this setup and changing basically the plugs and messing around with the parameters, I did a little like service line session where I came up with a bunch of snares that I can reuse in the drop. Then there is a switch up in the second part. At the end of this like rising gun part, which sounds like this. 
This part is really interesting. The main base is just my classic no way granular base technique. I showed already in one of my videos and they are just good once again the old drop. I'm automating the position right here. This frequency shifter which I'm automating right here just to create like a more transient -y sound. It's like more lasery. And also in this part I switched the snare once again. There are three layers of this guy. Is the transient from one of the snares I made. Uh, this is just a small part of the clap that I used in the first part. Then there's this thing which is one of the snares that I just put on ring mode right here. It sounds like this. And also again I put in the fills that I recorded and some of the gaps to make it more interesting. This thing. And I also use this sample to make this cool layer that sits under this part of the drop. And then we get to this transition. So this is made using music band delay that I put on the section group. Turning it on right here, and I'm also automating the delay scale, which creates this cool like DG effect. I did this because I didn't really know to get from this part back to the main gun part. I just like fuck it, let's make a huge glitch in this part and go back to this section. And I also have this full base. So this this is another glitch that I recorded. I think I made mean, this out of the glitchy feel, putting it through Quanta and recording it. It's being automated in pitch and it sounds really cool. And once again, we go back to this reverb section. Back to this, and then at the end, the same Quanta base that I automated the position differently. So it's like a variation and it sounds like more pitchy. The background to make it even more hype, I reused the riser from the pack. She's slowly rising in the background, and then here I made a little snare variation using one of the snares that I made. I added this like funky layer on top. And, like the last thing in the drop is this river fading automation. There is also like a layer of delay I'm using this cool crumble plugin to make this glitching delay, rushed delay effect that is being reverb. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I covered everything. If you want to listen to the full thing uncut, there is a link to my SoundCloud in the description. Fingers crossed, this wins the contest. I really hope. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, and see you guys in the next video.